Even though we're doing this a big ghetto right now, I'm sure y'all will still get the message. And there you go, YouTube. Team, keep it clean. It is official. Lamar Jackson is back in the building. Uh, today, I know Ravens are having media day where they take all the pictures of the players in their jerseys and stuff. So, I mean, I would expect to see Lamar and eight. We done seen Mark Andrews. We done seen Tyus Bowser. We done seen a few other guys as well. But Lamar Jackson is officially back in the Baltimore so all the talk all the wondering all the oh is he gonna show up for mini camp on Tuesday there you go because I don't think he's just back for no reason now shout out uh to Nana because she made a comment on a video that we did last night which was a very interesting point she said every year um when Lamar Jackson before like OTAs and stuff and um he would whenever he shows himself on a plane he's on the way back and I'm like, oh, I ain't even realized that. But that's a really, really good point. But yes, there you have it. Lamar Jackson, <laughs> he's there. He's there. So uh, it, it'll be a nice sigh of relief, a nice breath of fresh air, nice. <sighs> All right. There we go. Um, because everybody's been waiting and everybody's been wondering but now this makes it officially official officially official didn't even realize it's not even nine o'clock yet well when i'm recording this it's 8 58 but by the time y'all see this it'll probably be like 9 30 because you know internet a little bit slow but anyway um now I, now what is sports media gonna do what are they gonna do um because all the talk they even like they even started using some terms and i'm like really but they say Lamar Jackson was boycotting. Boy, <laughs> these two. They say Lamar Jackson was boycotting OTAs. I, I don't think I've ever, ever heard anybody ever use the term boycott for OTAs. Like, really? really? Like, come on now. What are you doing? If you're going to talk about it, talk about it. Okay, fine. But boycott really? for OTAs? Anyway, um, but I, I, I wonder where, what sports media is going to do now because it's like, oh, man, he, he about to show up. He about to show up. Oh, well, they not care as much since him showing up, that, that wouldn't be a negative thing. Right, well, this is what they're going to do. They're going to say, all right, Lamar Jackson, you showed up now. Two things. They're going to say, are, are you going to talk to the Ravens about a contract now? And they're going to try to make it a bad thing if he doesn't. That's one thing. But then another thing, they're going to be like, all right, Lamar Jackson, you showed up now? Okay. So your chemistry is going to be off with your playmakers. And they're going to be like, oh, if Lamar Jackson not looking perfect right away, then that'll give us, any, that'll give us all the reasons why he should have been there in the first place. If you come and you rusty, then that's not good. That's not a good look. You as the leader of the team, it's not a good look. That, that's where it's gonna go now. Watch, watch. So just, just listen. Watch, watch, watch. You already know how this thing goes, man. You already know how this thing goes. We said a long time ago. Nothing that he ever does will ever be good enough for a lot of people, especially in the media. Nothing he ever does will be good enough because he doesn't do it like people normally do it. He's not your traditional quarterback. He doesn't have an agent. He doesn't do things the traditional way. So it will never be good enough no matter what no matter what so uh nice to see that lamar jackson is there though um happy that he's back uh and it is officially official so like lamar jackson isn't anymore when it comes to being in baltimore <laughs> i'm out i'll see y'all later love y'all